Hey there everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's Ask an Old Mog video where we take a look at some questions that we get from the Facebook group and try to uh, answer them in a visual way to try and make some sense of kind of complicated mechanics and uh, new things that are going on in the game. Um, and we do actually have a question that I pulled from the group today. Um, and it's not necessarily a new question, but it is one that is no doubt getting a lot of attention right now because of a certain nine-tailed fox summoner that just entered the game. So without, without further ado, let's get into our question. So the question came from the group today was, does Evo Madge and variants go along with killers or do they not apply? And I think it's a really good question because um, evokers follow a lot of special rules, which we're gonna talk about in just a second, when it comes to how they do damage. And we'll take a look at that um, in a couple of different ways. But here's my answer to the question. Um, evocation damage does consider weapon variants, your level, the modifier of the skill or the esper that you're casting, and relevant stats. So um, it's gonna take into account, you know, pretty much all of the stats, attack, magic, defense, and spirit. But it does not consider killers into the equation and i'm going to show you the equation and i'm going to warn you now it is intense math so if you're not a math person you might want to like you know not be operating heavy machinery while you're looking at this uh this video probably shouldn't be operating heavy machinery while you're watching this video anyway but you know just just forewarning you know you might fall asleep if you're not into math so here's what you need to know if you don't get killers what are you going to get um, you want to focus on abilities and gear that increase your evocation damage boost and your esper evoked damage boost, as well as a couple other things, and here is why. This is the formula for when you decide to cast an esper, like summoning like Bahamut, for example. Uh, it's so important that I'm going to cover up my own face. So if you look, there's two different formulas. They're basically the same formula. One is for physical espers like uh, Odin or Ashura. Um, and the other one is for magic espers like Bahamut, Ifrit, Shiva, whatever. Um, but notice how kind of in the, the first big bracket, it's got like attack and defense, magic and spirit, divided by two, divided by 100, multiplied by one plus your Evo mag, um, squared, you know, whatever. And then you've got modifiers and level correction and final variants and uh, my favorite topic, multipliers, right? So multipliers at the very, very end um, are become a very, very important thing. And multipliers in this case for espers includes your evocation damage boost and your esper evoked damage boost. Okay. So it's going to factor in a lot of different things um, to, to figure out how much damage, but notice killers is nowhere in there. Um, killers would normally fall into the multipliers category. I'm going to show you what the multipliers that you can use in just a moment. Okay. Before we do, I'm going to go ahead and pop up the evocation damage formula because that's a little bit different than the Esper formula. Okay. Notice we still have unit mag times mag ratio plus unit spirit times spirit ratio divided by the enemy spirit. So notice evocation skills only affect enemy spirit unless otherwise stated. Um, and you get one plus your evo mag which is you know potentially 300 percent you get your modifiers level correction weapon variants and final variants and other other multipliers um so we're going to talk about what those multipliers are but i'm going to tell you now killers are not one of them um so the question then becomes what are the multipliers all right um the modifiers the multipliers for espers are chain cap enemy imperils and weaknesses, your evoke damage boost, also known as your evoke mag, uh, or your evocation damage skills. So I'm going to show you what those are um, and your um, mitigations. Um, and so the like, so espers, espers automatically, you can um, like mitigations, magic mitigations, general mitigations, physical can impact the damage that an esper does. However, notice that for evocation skills, chain cap imperil, evoke damage boost esper damage is not in there it's not factored in because it's not an esper it's an evocation skill and mitigations is not included in the formula um plain and simple right so evoke skills which is why uh tsukiko is so good for the current clash of wills is because her skills ignore mitigations 
like physical ma physical and magical that the boss gives himself every other turn which makes it really annoying if you're trying to plan out your damage mm. all right so modifiers for the for the evoke skills become very important for doing damage and they ignore mitigations okay um so yeah so if we go back to this formula which is you know the formula that is basically used for a lot of Sukiko's skills multipliers right in there are gonna be chain cap enemy in peril um, and your evocation boost so where are we getting evocation damage boosts okay um, here's some good abilities for evoke damage evoke damage is like the evocation skill and, and, and I'm gonna break this down just by showing you in the game we're gonna take a look at Sukiko okay and notice that Tsukiko, if you go into her details pane, has Esper damage, Evo damage. Um, and this gets particularly confusing because when you're filtering out skills on the ability list, and I'll show you what I mean here, um, it, it calls things Esper damage and Evo damage at the same time, but doesn't include Esper damage. It's, it's, really, it's really wacky. They need to fix it. Um, but notice you got Esper damage, Evo, da Evo Esper damage, Evo damage, and LB damage. Esper damage is when you cast an Esper. Evo is when you do an Evo skill, and LB is when you do an LB. Um, Evo damage also factors into Esper damage, but Esper damage does not factor into Evo damage. They work together sometimes. Well, only when you're casting an Esper. Worth noting. Um, and LB damage only applies when you're casting an LB. But if it's an evocation LB, then the evoke skill factors into the LB damage formula. So it gets a little ridiculous, right? Um, so here we go. I'm gonna show you, uh, show you how this Tsukiko is currently equipped with some abilities. Um, Originator of the Final Summoning is really, really good. And you get that from Unaleska, who we just got for, for free. Um, it's an STMR, but it's, you know, we just got her for free from Final Fantasy X. The Duty to the World uh, from Luna Freya is a good one for evoke damage. Summoner of Devotion from Summoner Lena is actually good for both Esper's evoked and evocation damage. It's a little bit of both, which is kind of nice. Um, Nine, uh, Nine Tales of Vengeance from Tsukiko herself um, gives a nice boost to evocation damage and magic. Um, inheriting one's focus is one from Celestia. It's, it's kind of a low end TMR um, for evoke damage. Tiny Light of Hope from Neo Vision Terra is a, a, a TMR. And Spira's Ray of Light from Summoner Yuna is a TMR. I said before though, it's kind of confusing. So if you if you click on an ability, let's go look for something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort out evocation damage up, and I'm gonna I would think maybe that's gonna include Esper damage too, but it doesn't. Okay. Unless it has both, it, unless it includes both Esper and Evoke, it does not include Esper skills. So notice, like, there are some that are on the next list that are not on this list currently, right? These don't, these are not Esper damage, except for um, Summoner of Devotion, which we've already talked about, um, is on this list, and uh, because it's both. Okay, that's why it gets a little confusing. Um, but there are multiple skills. So what's the next list? Right, the next list is. Esper damage. So Dazzling Leader from Ferris. Notice is not on this list because this is Evoke damage, not Esper damage. Let's take the filter off real quick. And I can show you Dazzling, right? This one, notice it says Esper Evoked damage. This is Ferris's TMR. Um, Originator of the Refinal Summoning does do both. So that's right here. Um, evoked Esper damage and evocation damage so it does both um yevon's wisdom not particularly great it's only 10 percent esper damage um then there's also just like evo damage 10 and 15 percent these were old craftable materials you could get kind of cool um and then inheriting one's, one's focus and summoner of devotion like we've already talked about um there's also some gear that does this as well so Sukiko's own STMR fourth Nirvana if you go and look at the skills it does Esper evoked damage not evocation damage Esper evoked so Evo Madge right um, as does Rydia's headband from the pure summoner Rydia does pure mind which is Esper evoked damage um, Yuna the original uh, rainbow Yuna um, does summoner's soul for 20% Esper evoked damage 
Um, and then we've also got Yuna's necklace, which is the, the uh, Neo Visions Yuna. Worth noting that this gives you an ability called Hymn of the Faith or Hymn of the Faith Plus if you've upgraded it that adds modifier, damage modifier to evocation skills that are magic based, spirit based, or hybrid magic and spirit based evocation damage. So that's kind of cool. Affects limit bursts, it affects abilities, it does a lot of neat things. Okay? And anybody can use that. What's really cool is unit or your your evoker does not have to wear this. You can give this to your support unit and they can buff up your your summoner, which is kind of neat. Um, something else to point out, and um, this this is vision cards. So um, there's a handful of vision cards that do summoner type stuff. The the most obvious one I want to talk about is the kind hearted demon, which is currently on Sukiko's banner. Um, kind of up in the air for some people about whether or not this is good. But take a look at this. Notice it does Esper damage and Evoke damage. So it's kind of slot efficient and magic. So it's going to give you a lot of good stuff for one, for one slot. But it also gives killers, which is confusing because killers and Esper damage doesn't go together, right? We, we've already talked about this. Why does it give killers? It's kind of weird. You can still give this to a unit that does magic or physical damage um, and get killers out of it. That's kind of nice. But the main thing most play we're going to want this for is, is the Esper damage and the Evo damage. A couple other cards that also do this, though, you know, you want to go and look at, like, summoners. So, uh, for example, if we go to Tsukiko's own card, notice it has, um, if we look for it, LB damage boost and Evocation damage boost. Not Esper damage, Evoke damage. Kind of cool. Pretty good for Tsukiko if you don't have the new vision card for her. Um, you could also look at um, Lena's card or Luna Freya's card. Here's Lena's, right? Um, Lena's card does magic, LB damage, and uh, more magic. Doesn't really boost evocation spells though, uh, or skills, which is like kind of like, meh. We, don't, we want that and we can't have it. Um, Yuna's does spirit killers and spirit so no evocation damage there you know uh, but you might want to take a look at if I can find it vision card sorting is coming soon guys here we go Luna Freya's this is Neo Vision Luna Freya um, it comes with Esper evoked damage and magic and more magic so this one is one you want to put on a unit if you need more esper damage um which is kind of rare um or you could look at ferris right ferris gives evocation damage boost for females of any series regardless of what series they're from sorry diverti um or you could look at terra's Neovisions Terra is right about here. This one gives evocation damage boost for Final Fantasy VI units, basically only her, as well as magic and magic. So you, you can use vision cards to increase your Esper damage and your evocation damage too, depending on which one you want to equip, um, but that's definitely an option. So uh, long and short of it, right? You want to have all of your modifiers for espers or evocation skills. You want to make sure you got your chain cap up. You want to make sure you're using imperils because most evocation skills are locked to an element. You want to have your evoke damage boost, your esper damage boost for espers. Make sure you're not dealing with mitigations or if you're using evocation skills, focus on chain cap, imperil, evo damage boost, LB damage boost if it happens to be an LB damage dealer like most evokers are um, and increasing your modifier with like Yuna's, uh, Yuna's necklace, um, vision cards, all the good stuff. Just make sure your relevant stats are boosted as well. But again, the modifiers are always more important than basic raw stats. Always go for modifiers first. LB, evoke, esper damage. That's what you want. So if you want to get the most out of your espers, that's what you're going to need. 
um, and hopefully that's not too confusing. I feel like the game unnecessarily makes it a little more confusing than it is. Like it calls it Evo Madge when it's really Esper damage. They call it Evo Madge on one screen and Esper damage on another screen. It's 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 unnecessary, okay? Um, but that's what you want. So make sure you're focusing on those. Um, and for Sukiko in particular, you're probably not summoning Espers. You're probably just using her LB and her Evocation skills. So don't worry about Esper damage. Just do Evocation damage and LB damage, and you're gonna be good to go. She's she's bonkers. Um, you know, without really trying too hard, I managed to cap Clash of Wills today, and uh, I'm working on my clear video for that. But uh, but yeah. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you got a question. If you've got a question, make sure you drop a comment below. Um, if this is clear as mud, I'm sorry. It's not very uh, clear to me either. Um, but I've, I've, I spend enough time playing with evokers because they're some of my favorite units that, you know, I, I kind of know, you know, what abilities I want to put on my units. Just focus for the big numbers. Evocation damage, LB damage, Esper damage sometimes, and you're going to be good to go. Um, for your evokers okay so we'll see you in the next one and you guys take care and be good to each other and go summon something okay all right